Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, with the new announcement that's been made and a few bits and pieces that have really come out. Um, so Call of Duty uh, says goodbye to Microsoft's Xbox One, which is a shame. Um, if you were wondering, Call of Duty has moved to PS4 um, and that pretty much includes everything. Uh, Black Ops 3 is coming out later this year, uh, November the 6th, uh, 2015. However, a few things will happen before that. Um, it's been developed by Treyarch and another group by the name of Beanox. Uh, they're based in Canada, Quebec. And apparently they're the QA division with like 300 plus employees or something. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out, seeing as... The QA team is going to be, from what I understand, separate from the actual development team. So will they get the game after it's complete or will they be doing it ad hoc um, as as the game is being made? Well, that's an interesting choice to take it over to a team that apparently helped made um, Spider-Man games. So that will be curious. So if there are any QA issues, quality assurance issues, um, game starts bugging out it'll be interesting with a separate team which is what they've decided to go for this time um, so that's it's quite interesting really but um, let's talk about the multiplayer uh, the multiplayer beta which actually begins a lot earlier than I expected on August the 19th so less than a month or less than a month or so to go um, and it'll be on the PS4 system um, as for the other systems, Xbox One and PC, are still to be announced. They haven't yet given a date for all three different systems, but it can be guaranteed on the 19th, it may change, but the 19th uh, of August, PlayStation 4 gets the multiplayer beta ac access early. Um, PS4 and Xbox One beta keys are automatically applied so as soon as you buy the game you don't have to really worry automatically comes um, it's only for PC that you will need to go through another step or two um, PC owners have to create a COD account at callofduty.com slash black ops free beta which I'll provide the link at the bottom uh, which isn't too much hassle um, and it's free you create a black uh, COD account um, and the beta key um, you get the beta key and it's free to create that account but um, it's interesting they've actually gone for a beta um, because they've never needed to go to it before and what is a beta now um, it's usually just a cash grab or it's, yeah it's usually just a crash cash grab or to a cap crappy game that comes out that's unfinished um, so I don't think it's gonna be a crappy game that's unfinished so the only other option I'm led to believe is that it's gonna be just a nice easy crash cash grab which isn't too bad um, but, but it does seem to be an abuse of this whole beta access program that's going on data I don't think they really need it but um, they want to try something new so it's not that bad it'll be interesting this is the first time they're really doing it um, and for, as far as I'm aware so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out and what they gather from it seeing as um, year on year and um, the game seems to be selling less and less sadly apart from um, Black Ops 2 which did stand out a little bit more than usual but still uh, it, Call of Duty is on the decline sadly um, and especially with Destiny out, which is, which will be interesting to see how things happen, how things uh, work themselves out. Um, which I wanted to mention because it's like three to four months earlier than the actual game release, which will be November for everybody else. Um, the Sony PS4 as well as PlayStation 3 will be f first to get all the DLC, um, which will be on average expected to be like a month earlier. So if you've got an Xbox, or, um, and you may be thinking about getting a PlayStation 4. Often, um, I, as far as I'm aware, a lot of people, the only reason they got an Xbox One, one of the key things usually would be that they would get um, a DLC early um, and put it onto YouTube, etc. But now, PlayStation's gonna, on their platforms, is gonna get it a month earlier. So that, 
that would be interesting to see, to see. So, and that, that's a big deal for Sony. Um, many people may just buy the system just for that, um, which is a which is um, a big issue for Microsoft's uh, Xbox One. Um, I have a link to Polygon's Polygon, who got to um, somebody from there got to interview somebody from Microsoft by the name of um, Aaron Greenberg, and his thoughts. Um, um, on a website called Attack of the Fanboy, which I read up on as well. Um, and his response was, um, Xbox still has Halo and Gears of War, so from what I can tell, Xbox is, and, and this is the main reason that I want to talk about, is that Microsoft don't seem to be too concerned, which is maybe a little bit worrying, um, but is a sign of the changing times. Um, I don't think it'll make a huge difference to Xbox One. They are falling behind, but it's not that bad, and for me personally, as long as the amongst difference isn't too bad, I mean, unless it's for YouTube, which is the only issue I have. Um, but other than that, I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. Um, as you can see on the background, what I played in the beginning, which was saying the reason I really made this video was because I noticed that the zombies mode that they're bringing out, which I've never been a big fan of, actually looks interesting this time. They've actually put some characters in, and by characters, I mean actual characters they look different they seem to play differently and they seem to be voiced differently it's not just a generic character they actually seem to be interesting and seem to have some kind of character development going on so that that may draw me in i'm not too sure um because i um, I, I don't have a ps4 at the moment so i will be one of those um pc peasants i suppose Okay, thanks for watching, leave a like, um, let me know what you think, let me know if you find out anything else, thanks for watching.